Trying to fix that turret, eh? Here, let me do it. Trying to help. Well, that didn't go according to plan. Hey, lay off Castello. You need to control that fiery temper or you might get burned. <laughs> Whoa! Costello, watch where you're going! Crossfire, buddy! Crossfire! You okay? Costello? Costello? Uh, Abbott? I may have killed Costello. He's in a better place now. First base. Time to get the heck out of here. Oh, hey, Gracie. Well, sir. I don't know what to call you now. Mr. Bubblesworth. You've done more than just spare my life. I have? You've opened my eyes. Involuntarily? I need to put a few questions to Dr. Lamb. I have some questions I need to put to Dr. Lamb, too. Like, does this hurt? Have you had enough? Did you know spines make a nice crack when you bend them too much? And how many fingers do you need to live? Round down. Oh, Lamb! Good, I have By some questions. By sparing grace. Do you seek to gain my trust? No. A feeble ruse. Your crocodile tears may poison her with doubt, but I am not so easy a mark. You take that back. I didn't cry. I never cry. I just have a leak in my helmet. Just take that override key and slot it into the control box in the ticket booth there. That'll open the gates. All right, Sinclair. Next stop, Eleanor. I hope. Turn not to feel so good. Uh, I am gonna miss how pretty it is down here. Hear me, O oh ye who would murder the Lamb of God! Huh? Ye shall never reach her god! Is that English? Wait, is that a torpedo? Ah, oh, crap! Uh, damn it. Uh. Kid, uh, come on, wake up now. Uh, there you are. I thought you rode that torpedo into the grate hereafter. That's right. I'm in Dionysus Park now. Train cars are shambles, leaking air. Whole damn place is flooded and sealed. What's new? But there's a pumping station back there on Siren Alley, and I believe you could jerry-rig it to drain the park out. Oh. That'd let you stroll right inside. Uh -huh. Get to those pumps and hurry. You and I both know it's never that easy. Especially when people are shooting torpedoes at me. Oh, hey there, bro. Good to see ya. Small ocean. Ram. I see Father Wales has parted you from your craft. For now. And yet you cling to life. Religiously. Congratulations. For? Today, Delta, you meet a man who has no fear of death. Myself? And for Eleanor, he would burn with a smile. I'm still betting on myself. I mean, who better to fight me than me? Show him what we got. Uh oh. Bring you home is it true? Oh, not me. Whoa! I mean, I want to free that little sister, but I do love seeing those morons get blown up. I'm conflicted. I'm sorry for this. I really was impressed with your work. It was some great A exploded. Sorry, big guy. Little one. Want to come with me? Are we gonna be together again, Daddy? Probably not for a while. He's, uh, swimming with the fishes in an underwater farm in the country upstate. So, uh, you just come with me and we'll find you a nice juicy body to stab. How about that? Who's that? Ah, uh, shoot first, ask questions later. The Beast of Ryan lives! Hi! Gather the family! Uh, what the hell was that? Mother of mercy, I think that was Simon Wales. What's he done to himself? Drugs. He and his brother were Rapture's no. architects, but when Doc Lamb came along, Simon got religion. Like most people. He's got a kind of church down in the pumping station. Expect a reckoning when you arrive. A reckoning? Bitch, I'm Rapture's apocalypse. Bubbles, can you please drain that corpse of its blood faster? This is a very open area, making you very hard to defend. Thank you! We're here's an article of our big bastard! Decent insult! I give it a B! I'm not These bees are really starting to hurt my hand. Gah. I think Mother knows I'm helping you like this. Why? She's accelerating my treatments. Treatments? Don't give up on me. Never, Ellie. And you don't give up on me.
The beehive and I are coming to save you. Ooh, uh, no time for drinking. No negotiating! <laughs> over. Pass. Ooh, let me help you with that. Sorry. I do wish you all could have stuck around longer. Ugh. Gross. Miss, how big was the guy who killed you? He was this big! <laughs> this is dark. Man, I love your top hat! If it doesn't have too many bullet holes in it when I'm done, I'm so gonna wear it! Aw, oh, I shot it! I wanted that. Sinclair, where is this holy god? Ah, now through this junction is the rest of the alley, including the very pumping station we are after. Father Wales has been recruiting Holy Rollers down there for lamb. Holy Rollers, huh? Well, I'm gonna make them a lot more holy. H-O-L-E-Y. Holy, like, full of holes. <laughs> yeah, let's just go. Father Simon Wales, can you hear me? I can. I have trapped a devil at your doorstep. Ooh, I like that. And Simon, Daniel is dead. My bad. Ugh. Ask yourself, Delta. I try not to. You, who have suffered beyond measure at the hands of men like Ryan. And you. What is the cost of paradise? Your life. To end pain. To end sin. I caused them. What must we pay? Fifteen bucks? Eleanor is my answer. Huh. So it's either continue to live with pain and sin, or sacrifice Ellie. Sucks to be you then, because Ellie is leaving this place. And then you're gonna feel the pain when I stake you to the wall and then crush this place under the weight of the ocean. Oh, Alright, Blossom, time to go. I'll see you later, okay? Be safe. Don't stab anyone else now, you hear? Thank you. You're welcome. Sure hope those girls are gonna be okay. Excuse you! Good kill in there, Buster. Almost done, Buttercup. Good job. Daddy, are you taking me home too? Yep, it's time. Thank you. You're welcome, Buttercup. You go find the others, okay? It's apparently date night for Daddy. All right, crazy stalker. We've been over this. It just isn't gonna work out between us. It's not me, it's you. You're just really high maintenance. Literally. Maybe if you were a bit nicer and less stabby stabby, things would have been different. But I'm sure there's a nice blender or something out there for you that'll make you very happy. Don't blame me. Have you thought about speaking in words rather than a piercing screech that I'm afraid could shatter the glass that keeps us from drowning? Fine, we can do a third date. But I'm picking a restaurant. Oh, now you're running. Oh, no, you don't. If you want this, you need to be willing to compromise. Get back here. Oh, hey, man. Wanna help a bro out? Stop. You're making a scene. Ah, oh, thanks, man. She's gone a bit bonkers since I told her it wasn't gonna work out. I mean, I know I'm a catch, but come on. Ooh. Crazy exes, am I right? So what kind of priest is this guy? Like one of the mainstream religions, or...? Each of you know the child of the Lamb. Through Adam, our soul shall pass into her holy blood and will be reborn as a single immaculate body. Ah, one of the crazy ones. Should have guessed that. Oh, we're worshipping drugs. That tracks. Literally. But the beast is upon us, children. Accurate. It wears a hide of iron, and its hands are death and change. Accurate. It would seize the child from us, and with her, paradise itself. Accurate. Be ye soldier of the ground, or angel of the sky, ye must stand fast and send it howling back to hell. Gotta say, he is spot on. I mean, he's bonkers, and he's still gonna die, but he ain't telling lies. In the name of the fire, the gun, and the holy drill. Amen. Let the sermon begin. Whoa, no sir. I will not put money into the collection basket. You have more than enough. 
Yeesh. Ooh, father. Crawling on ceilings ain't normal. You might want to retry that exorcism on yourself. I don't think it's took. Maybe drink some holy water? Or just lay off the drugs? Perhaps all the above. Not that it matters. My bullet should help. Now rest in peace. Is pieces. The sermon has ended. Amen. Hey, Sinclair. I killed the holy guy. Kinda hoping that doesn't come back to bite me. Pump control ought to be in the back. Right. One thing, though. Mm. Once you transfer the suction to Dionysus Park, we've got a tiny window of opportunity to get you inside. Puns. I don't have much air left, but I'll hang in there. You make sure you're ready before you throw that switch. Don't worry, Sinclair. We'll get you out of there. There goes nothing. Consequences be damned. Do you think me a tyrant, Delta? Yes. Vying for control of a dead man's dream? Yes. The city is nothing. On that we agree. Rapture must die so that Eleanor may rise from its body. Now I'm confused. Allow me to demonstrate. Demonstrate away. Oh, I take it back! Slams overloading the pumps. The place is coming down. Get to Dionysus Park! Going as fast as I can with these little stubby legs. Ugh. Oh, this water does not help with my running. Ugh. Subject Delta. Listening? I want you to commit this moment to memory for me. Why? This howling, brutish slog through the dark. Pretty light, actually. This is who we are. Now she's just speaking gibberish. Get out of there, kid! What do you think I'm doing? This ain't exactly easy. Looks like it's holding up okay. Never mind. Hey guys, I think someone left a window open. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, right. I'm in a scuba suit. Why was I freaking out? This is actually better for me. Takes care of the riffraff. Look, Delta. It is the world for which you strive. You. Alone among the dead. As long as you're one of them, then yeah. You nailed it. Sinclair, I'm soggy, but I made it. Dionysus Park was owned by Sophia Lamb, Chief. Sort of a private retreat for her social experiments. Good for her. One night it flooded. Killing all her guests. Bummer. Paper said it was cult related. Her cult? Come on up to the train station. Let's rendezvous. Sounds good. See you soon. Ooh, there's still booze down here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hot tamale! Hot tamale! Stop with the fireball! Yeesh! Seems like a bit much. Maybe dial it down a few degrees. That'll work. Attention! Subject Delta has drained and infiltrated Dionysus Park. His death is our rebirth. The life of the people's daughter is in your hands. You know, don't you get tired of doing the same spiel over and over? It hasn't worked yet. You might as well just save your breath. You're gonna need it for all the screaming and agonizing pain you're gonna be doing later. This place has certainly seen better days. Sinclair, please tell me you're having a better time than me. Well, the good news is I've located a new train car. Good. But the station's still locked down, and we're not alone in here. I see a shadow in the security booth. I'll lay low while you have a gander. Of course, Delta, go do everything. Gotta be honest, Sinclair, not sure what you're bringing to this relationship. Well, hello, boys. Hello? The name's Stan Poole, Rapture Tribune. What? Quality paper. <laughs> Before the locals stopped reading and started finding, uh... Other uses for it. Gross. Anyway, I'm uh, looking to cut a deal, fellas. Come by the train station. I'm here in the booth. Not sure what kind of deal you're looking for, but okay, I'm intrigued. Maybe you can give me a good write-up in the next issue. You could use some good press. Thank you. Dionysus Park was my home, Delta. And? An experiment in social unity, cut short by human folly. Your bonkersness? You dishonor its memory with every step. Yeah, I think the water damage is doing more dishonor than anything I am. Now that, see, Lamb knows you're here, but I'm incognito. Oh. Thing is, since you drained out the park, the little sisters are already starting to, uh, nose around. Looking for Adam, and, uh... <laughs> I can't have that. Well, if they poke your way, you better let them. 
Otherwise, I'm gonna poke your way. And I don't poke nice. Take this father and hurry. Mother can't hear this, but she's... She's what? She's looking right at me. And her face... Is what? Really ugly? Ellie! Was it really ugly? I'm betting it was really ugly. I've reached the train station. Ah, hello there, Stanley. Okay, so dead men tell no tales, right? Huh? <laughs> Wrong. See, with Adam involved, every stiff's got a story. And Lamb knows how to read it. If that stuff makes it back to her, I'm an obituary. So, I want you to take the story of Dionysus Park and bury it. I can do that. Get rid of the little sisters for me. What? Your way. Oh. Do that, and I'll unlock the station here. <laughs> Scout's honor. You better. Sinclair, what do you think? Well, I'd say he's hiding something, but he sort of took the fun out of that one. Seems so. He's locked in the security booth, however, so we'll have to play along. Find those sisters. All right, Stanley, you got a deal. I'm gonna go take care of some little sisters. <laughs> you all stop! Me and my little girl are just trying to take in a show! Good job. Off you go. This Adam you found contains memories from all the bodies here. Normally, only a little sister can see them, but I can show you what Stanley's trying to hide. What? When Mother was taken away, Stanley was left in charge of Dionysus Park. He spent all her money through these mad parties. It was like he was trying to ruin her. So the enemy of my enemy is my... friend or enemy? I'm not sure how to feel on that. You okay there? Keep your eye on the brass ring, brother. Find the rest of the sisters. Oh, I will. But not for you. I'm doing it for them. And a little for myself. So much more. I really hate it down here. Subject Delta is just a serial number, amigo. Oh? I did a lot of digging on you for a feature once. They used to call you Johnny Topside. Why? Found the city all on your own in a diving bell. Don't remember that. Real shame what they did to you. I mean, I don't know. I got the drill hand and a super deep voice. It's not all bad. All right, you're up. Well, let's make it quick. It's cold in here. Excuse me! Damn blood popsicle. Faster would be better, baby girl. Daddy's freezing his tootsies off. Yeah, get him, chaplain. Ah, ow, not me! Ugh. This is why you never hire the silent ones. You. You're welcome, Kimmy. That's me there. I confronted Stanley. Said I'd tell Mother what he had done. He panicked. And? Took me away and sold me to an orphanage. I tried to fight back. I remember biting his hand, but... Father... Stanley... He's the reason I was turned into a little sister. Hey, Stanny boy. You got anything to say? Now, you were just a deep-sea explorer with iron cojones, pal. The public gave it a nickname. Wrecking ball. But Ryan was sure you were a spook. So his people locked you up. Erased your damn name. Goodbye, Johnny Topside. Hello, Subject Delta. It's a good story, but that wasn't what I was talking about. If you don't want to talk about Ellie, I'll make you talk about Ellie. Adam is Rapture Delta. Don't remember asking. The finest minds of paradise in a single sublime mosaic. Who? Eleanor. On that we agree. Consider the genius you deny her with every stolen drop. I'd rather her live a normal life than stuck in this undersea toilet. When all this is over and we're divvying up Rapture's bounty, you and I'll be holding court on a private island, son. Ooh. Think of it. Each world power on bended knee. Holding a bouquet made of money. Yeah, I don't want all that. I just want Ellie to live in peace. The girls you've saved from Mother want to thank you. Check the gatherer's garden. Ooh, yay! They remembered my rebirth day. I just hope it's not another tie. They never fit around my giant neck. There you go. Bye, Brooke. With me gone, Father, 
Stanley just let Mother's followers turn into animals. Yeah. When word came that she was returning, he knew they would blame him. So. so he found a way to silence them all. And now he's trying to cover it up. Stanley, I'm done. Wanna meet up? That's it! Now all that old dirt stays underground, and Lamb will be none wiser. Hey, come on back. I've unlocked the train for you. Uh, but remember, if Lamb catches you, <laughs> mum's the word. Well, I'll be mumming someone's words. Delta. Huh? Our conflict of interest seems to be upsetting Eleanor. Then die already. For her sake, I have made it clear to these men that you are not to suffer. Oh, I won't. I accept full response. You want to finish that thought? Through Adam, Eleanor will become the daughter of the people. A true utopian. Sounds awful. Brilliant beyond measure, but utterly selfless. Sure he is. As she ascends, Delta, you and I will seem as dogs, circling and snarling amid the afterbirth. Ew. Doc Lamb's turning up the heat, Chief. Head on back to the train station. Let's hit the trail. Will do. But first, I've got a date with a stalker who won't leave me alone. What do you want, Doc? I told you, it just isn't gonna work. I'm from the Atlantic, you're from the Pacific. You're a murderous psychopath and I'm... Well, okay, we match there. But it really only looks good on paper. In reality, it's just a bunch of screeching and trying to kill each other. And that spark can only last so long. Now stop hiding and let's get this breakup over with. Where are you? Subject ah! Delta. Bad time, Lamb! I have known for years of Stanley's betrayal here and had forgiven him. Ah! And in compromising no, Helen and Shut Helen, up! he seals his fate. Busy! You see, it was Stanley who turned you into Ryan. What? He is responsible for what you have become. Oh, Stanley. The security booth is open now. You may have your revenge. Sweet Jesus. Lamb, no! And now I do too. She just let me hang myself out the... Oh, God! Yes. No, no, no. Come on, pal. The, the, the train's ready. Just... Just let me live! We'll see. I've been dealing with a lot for the past few minutes. I need time to process. And maybe take out a little rage. Stanley. Yeah. I'ma let you live in this little puddle you've made. Enjoy your own little personal hell. Sinclair, we're leaving.